Ian D here, Ian D here, day 10 for the spoilers of Double Masters. From all the cards that have been spoiled until today, we have seen that Double Masters will be a very strong master set. We have seen very good value in terms of mythics, in terms of rare, very good uncommons and even very good comments. But out of them all is the borderless box stoppers cards that are the most valuable out of the set. Remember that Double Masters, you will have double rare, double foil and double box stopper the borderless cards that are the box stoppers those cards can be only found in the vip packs they are not available in the double masters packs obviously the double masters will have double box stoppers so you have two in every booster box of double masters but in the packs you will not find the borderless cards those cards can be only found in the packs of the vip and those packs they are not Cheap, they are hundred dollars and plus. Let's start our spoilers. First of all, the full borderless box toppers cards list have been revealed. As you can see from here, there are two particular cards that still have not been spoiled. Yesterday I showed you Toxic Deluge, and Toxic Deluge is confirmed that will be in Double Masters, but also there is another card, the last card, which as I told you is have not been spoiled, but you can see from the list the sort of war and peace the sort of war and peace will be in the set so that the full cycle of the source of the first and second melody blocks will be available in double masters let's start our spoiler mirror retriever here we are talking about mirror first melody block this card was a very key important key card in the kcy kraken iron wings deck until obviously the card was banned top tier foundry very good card, one dollar, not an expensive card. Ash Barons, very good commander card. Value of this card is not that much expensive. We're talking about one dollar, two dollar maximum, but still a very good card, especially in commander. Leonina Bunas, here we're talking with the four, first mirror dim block. Value of this card is not a very expensive card, about three dollars. So with the reprint, I'm always seeing that the price of the card, the value of the card will always drop. Maystone Pulse, Pulse, another good card from Alara, $3. Awakening Zone from Rise of the Eldrazi. The current price of this card is around $6, the current value. So I'm seeing that the card will be around $4 to $5. Isochron Scepter, this card in Merodin, first Merodin block, this card was an uncommon. Current value between $14 and $15. At rare, at rare, the price will go up, the value of the, of the card will go up, and I'm still thinking that the price will be in the range of around $12. Cascade Bluff, I already showed you the 5 Shadow Moor Filter Lens, the most expensive filter lens out of the 10 cards. These are the filter lens of Eventide, the most, the least expensive. Cascade Bluff, we're talking about $10. Twilight Mire, around $12. Rugged Prayer around eight dollars. Flooded Grove around fourteen to fifteen dollars, and Fetid Heat around eleven dollars. Just keep in mind that these five filter lens these were reprinted in the Masters Twenty Five set, and that's why the value of these cards is relatively low compared to the five Shadow Mir Shadow Moor filter lens. First mythic card, the Scarab God, the Scarab God, the most expensive card in Hour of Devastation. Not a very good set overall, but because of the masterpiece in those set, the Amonkhet Invocation, those boxes are gaining quite value. The Scarab God, as I said, the most expensive card out of this set, we're talking around $25, a very good commander card, reprinted in Double Masters as mythic. Mana Echoes from Onslaught, remember that Onslaught it's a relatively low printed set, it's a very old set, but also in Onslaught there were common, uncommon and rare only. Therefore this card in Onslaught was rare, but the reprint in Double Masters have been upgraded to Mythic. We're talking here about a card valued around $45. So I'm still seeing that the Mythic card version of Double Masters will still hold a value between $30 and $35. Last card, last spoiler for today, Riku of the Two Reflections. This is a very strong card, a commander card. We're talking here of a value between $34 to $35. Still, same to as Mana Echoes. I'm not seeing this card going down in value that much. My, approxi my approximation will be around $30. As always, subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Double Masters, Magic the Gathering and the Collectible World.